Hi, it's Minecraft here. Welcome to another Minecraft Mon tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to add a container to your block. So, if you don't know what a container is, it's actually where the slots are. It just says where the slots are, which is mainly used for the GUI. So, what we're going to be doing today isn't actually going to be visible until Thursday, I think. So, uh, first thing you want to do: create a new package. And yes, these are new icons. Uh, you won't have this. This is just me. I've installed a plugin to it, which is Google stuff. So that's just for me. So see your Minecraft bit of everything. Dot container. So you want to make container one, and you want to add in here container mini chest. So pretty basic stuff. This needs to extend a container. Control Shift O to import that, and obviously it won't let me because I need to save it and import it. So you want to do the net.minecraft.inventory one, and that's going to make us want to add some methods. So can interact with. That's only going to make us want make one method which we're not going to do right now. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to add a constructor. So press Control Space, and when it updates, there we go. Constructor and this is going to take in a i inventory player inventory. So we need, we're going to get the player inventory and we're also going to get our tile entity. So tile entity mini chest and I'm just going to call that te. And in here you just want to control shift o to import them. So then now we want to have a private tile entity mini chest here and let's just call it te we just need to set this as this dot te is equal to te yes so we just done that so now we're going to add the can interact with which we have to have which will stop that from erroring and what we're going to do here we're going to use that te that we just made and it's going to be this dot te dot is usable by player and uh, it's just going to take in that player so that's basically what we did last tutorial so we had in here somewhere in here yeah uh, this method we don't need to repeat that we don't need to repeat that um, we got that there so in here we want to do this dot add slot to container a new slot and inventory so we're going to have tile entity first and the index is going to be zero so mine's only going to have one item slot so that you just like take away one so if you had like nine slots you would do this from every single one from zero to eight if that makes sense and now you actually want to go get your um image so this is my image here when it opens so I'll probably also have this on screen and basically from here we can work out where to do it like get the X and Y position so so uh, here we go this is, this is what min chest looks like so you just left a couple of pixels here and basically what we want to do to get the location of where you want the slot you actually have to find the slot and look at this bit here so if we look down in the bottom right, probably highlight this, it says 80, 16. So 80 and then 16. They are our locations. And then we've got to do this for the inventory. So we need to actually say, like, these are the player's inventory stop slots. So um, this method here will do this for us. Really simple. And this here this 41 plus now all pretty much every single every single uh gy in the game is 176 pixels wide so here we don't need to change the x value and that x value is this one here you do not need to change this at all unless your one's wider but here 41 and 99 this is the hot bar that's the inventory so the hot bar if we get here that's 99 in the bottom right so that's the y and then 
here for this one it's that 41 which is the top bit here as it says 41 so that's just how you know what that is now there's another method that we can add which is transfer stack from slot which I've also got in the description a link to this code because I don't really want to spend ages just doing it so control shift O that will just do that and basically this is going to transfer so like when you shift click it allows shift clicking to work so this this just does that and this number here is how many slots it has this number here is how many slots it has and this number here is how many slots it has so pretty much we can't test this today but I assure you this works so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to check out the next tutorial because this this tutorial is really needed for the next tutorial to work so I'll see you in the next tutorial I'll don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial so yeah go check them out